Not gonna lie, Atlanta traffic sucks. <laughs> Morning, day three. <laughs> you can see it from my gloves. Um, I am currently in West Virginia. I was supposed to be in Virginia, but fell behind about two hours thanks to the rain. <laughs> so I'm a little bit um, of a head start this morning up with the sun. You can't quite see it, but have lots to go through today. North Carolina, South Carolina, Alabama, Florida, all of those states pretty much so um yeah let's just get on the road i'm tired I'm very tired living off of four hours sleep it's good it's good i'll sleep eventually but fine i changed out of my climb suit today i had two days in it which i needed because of the rain and then one day out I'm just gonna use my Moto Girl leggings and my textile jacket. I'm layered up. Got the heated grips on. Got my rain gloves, thermal liner ones on. I'm such a baby this morning. That rain's like soaked me to the core the last two days. Virginia is for lovers. shorter mileage day today but I have to make up uh, almost two hours worth of travel time this morning so was supposed to leave around seven o'clock from West Vir or from Virginia actually so eh, not overly concerned just yet I'll let you know how I do on the rest of the stops because lately <laughs> Every single gas stop that I seem to stop at, the like travel centers and the Oasis ones, I get somebody coming up to me and asking me about the bike, which is good. Like, I like it. But at the same time, I was like, I'm on a tech crunch, people. As much as I want to be respectful and talk to you, I got to get my butt going. This is not helping me at all. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's fun to share the bike with people that aren't aware of it. I'm happy to do so. Dang, I gotta make up some ground today and I'm feeling the pressure. I finally found my first Bronco. It's day three and it's... <laughs> I gotta get closer. She's cruising. <laughs> I am somewhere in South Carolina and 20 states in right now. I have to make it through Georgia, Alabama, hopefully Florida if I can make it, and then back to Alabama for the rest of the night. So fingers crossed, I can make it through. It hasn't had a rain cloud in the sky, so my day has been significantly better than yesterday. It's crazy how much weather puts you in certain moods. Yesterday, I was just not into it, and I only did about 
600 to 700 miles, maybe less, less than 700 for sure. So I have to make up the ground today. I've got the motivation to do it. So let's keep rolling. That's awesome. The water tower is a peach. Gaffney. Yep, that's a peach. <laughs> regret my decision later but this is the only hot food that I can find at the gas station so I have to go with this I am in Georgia yes Georgia <laughs> headed down through Alabama the hotel that I was gonna stay at in Alabama is booked up so husband is trying to find something close by that I can stay at for tonight. Ideally, I wanted to go down to Florida and back up to Alabama before the end of the night, but I don't think that's gonna be possible. So we'll see. We got a little bit of daylight left, not much. Atlanta traffic, I wasn't even remotely close to Atlanta and I hit back up traffic, stop traffic. I literally stopped the bike at one point. I was just, <laughs> bike was hot I was hot <laughs> it was at 90 degrees not fun not fun I think I would take pouring rain in New York City over Atlanta heat right now that's pretty much it so cheers to dinner I'm gonna regret my decision but need something in my belly and I gotta keep rolling that's what I keep telling myself <laughs> welcome to sweet home Alabama <laughs> in Alabama. I've never been in Alabama before. I'm actually staying in Alabama tonight. Not exactly where I want to be, unfortunately. Pretty close. I'm not going to make it down to Florida tonight just to make it all the way back. So I'm going to do Florida tomorrow morning before I do all the rest of day four. Closing in on the end of day three, I am so very glad that there has been not a speck of rain the entire day. And my mood has changed drastically since yesterday. <laughs> I can tell I'm getting sore though, like my knees might be calling for some pain reliever tonight just to appease or I just need a break. I've been going for 12 hours on the road. My weaver started at like it says 10 hours right now and I forgot to start logging it two hours in. So yeah probably about 12 hours and I got another hours and 15 minutes left yet too. 14 hour day. That is a normal and it's actually pretty small mileage compared to Monday. Some of the other days I have. I have a bright and early morning tomorrow and it's also throwing me off because of the time difference too so I gotta make sure my stops are in line. I hate that feeling where I like feel like I'm playing catch up and that's what I did all day today because I didn't allow myself enough time in the morning to make up for the uh, last part of West Virginia that I didn't do and I don't want that to be the same case for tomorrow as well we'll see I have a whole nother full day my husband keeps telling me that too I love driving the sunset though but I just don't I want to feel like I'm on, I want to feel like I'm in line. That if something big and drastic does happen, I can accommodate them and not feel completely stretched thin. <laughs> so far I'm, I'm getting the hang of it. I just wish I was a little more efficient and faster at my gas stops, but then I almost like, I need that break. I need to sit down and stretch out my legs or really get something good to eat <laughs> or else I fade fast so I'm learning a lot of lessons but having an absolute blast doing this I just I can't believe I was
was in Virginia and now I'm in Alabama. This morning to this evening. From sun up to sundown. And I think sunsets are more of my favorite than sunrises. Alright, signing off for tonight. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We'll see another episode next week. Breakfast of Champions. Okay, this is a very deep river. Okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good.